Greetings Internet and welcome to First E Impressions, where I give my first impressions on video games and other media. Uh, right now, instead of doing video games, I'm giving my first impression on the pilot episode of The Orville. Now, uh, for people who know me, uh, I've not been super thrilled about uh, what I've seen of The Orville. The commercials really didn't seem to impress me. Uh, the comedy seemed a little off. It's very Seth MacFarlane. But uh, in the same respect, I did really enjoy A Million Ways to Die in the West, and it seemed to have a kind of Galaxy Quest vibe, and I love Galaxy Quest. Galaxy Quest is one of the best Star Trek movies ever made, and it's not even a Star Trek movie. So, in that respect, I decided to give the Orville a chance, despite the fact that a lot of reviewers had some of the issues uh, that I was feeling before seeing the show. After the reviews, I do have to say, now that I've seen it, um, while it is billed as a gut-busting comedy, that is entirely the wrong way to market this. This is not a Star Trek parody. This is not a riotous comedy. This is a Star Trek show with some jokes. Uh, that is to say that this is about as close to m more adventures in Starfleet that we're going to get uh, along the lines of Next Generation, uh, in the Next Generation timeline, at least, because this is, this is clearly a loving homage to that series. In fact, one of the executive producers of this show, of the Orville, Brandon Braga, was an executive producer on Star Trek The Next Generation, wrote a couple of the movies, so it does kind of have that pedigree to it. That said, it's not Galaxy Quest, either. It's not making fun of it while still being loving of it, it is basically a science fiction exploration show in the vein of Trek. Now, it's not fantastic by any stretch of the imagination. It is enjoyable, though. I found myself laughing at the jokes where I did not laugh at them in the commercials. There are not a lot of jokes, but the stuff that's there is the stuff that you're kind of wondering about when you watch these kind of shows, and it kind of addresses them immediately. I will say that in the first 20 minutes of the show, we did get two pee jokes. Lieutenant Commander Bordas, your entire species is male, isn't it? That is correct, sir. Probably not a lot of arguments about leaving the toilet seat up and that kind of thing, right? Mocklands urinate only once per year. Really? That's, I mean, I'm, I'm up two, three times a night. <laughs> that is unfortunate. It is. So, yes, all right, there are bathrooms on a starship. Glad we've gotten that out of the way. Uh, Seth MacFarlane's character as Ed Mercer, I almost said Ed Sheeran, is the same kind of Seth MacFarlane characters he always does. Likeable schlub, he catches his wife Kelly, played by Adrian Pilecki, uh, in the opening of the series in bed with a, another man, another alien, and uh, then it cuts to a year later where he's uh, apparently not been doing really well after seeing that, and, uh, and has kind of been on a downward spiral, and then manages to somehow, despite that, get to be captain of a starship. They want to give him a, a last chance. He's been kind of on a downward spiral over the year since the divorce. And come to find out that uh, his first in command is his ex-wife. Now, a lot of the reviews had said that she was kind of a one-note character in that she was only there to be the ex-wife, someone for him to argue with. And in the pilot, I don't see that. Initially, yes, that is her character, is that she's someone who is there to be an antagonist for him, but at the same time, she's there to be dependable on. She's there to be the first in command on the ship, and does an excellent job at being that for the captain. And, you know, come to find out at the end of the episode, her real motivation for all of that. Uh, I don't want to give that away in case you do want to see it. But suffice to say, uh, it's a decent cast. Again, you've got your, your, your alien archetypes that are on the ship as well as humans. And uh, so it's going to be an interesting run. It is not a laugh-a-minute comedy, so don't go in expecting that. Go in expecting a Star Trek-esque show with occasional gags. So that's my first impressions. This is just a short video. Uh, that's what these are. Just kind of giving me a chance to riff on what I've just seen or just played. That's what first impressions are. If you like these kind of videos, please let me know in the comments below. Like, share, and subscribe, and maybe uh, check me out on Patreon. Thanks a lot, folks. We'll see you another time.